Hello and welcome to another lesson. This one is going to be short and sweet. We're going to quickly look at one of Sibelius's very powerful features, the append feature. This can be found under the file tab. Append allows us to combine multiple Sibelius documents into the one document. For example, in the score I currently have open, I have a short duet for two brass instruments. This duet will eventually become just one of the duets within a book of duets, and currently all of the individual duets for this book exist as separate Sibelius documents. With append, I can add additional Sibelius documents to the score I currently have open. And there it is. I've combined two scores. Obviously, however, for my purposes, there are a couple of small things I have to clean up around where the documents were joined. You can see, for example, that I require a final bar line between the two documents. In addition to this, I'm also going to have to change the bar numbers of the document I just appended. I need this new duet to start with bar 1, instead of just continuing counting the bars from the previous duet. I go to the Text tab, Bar Number Change, New Bar Number, click OK, and add it to the first bar of my new duet. Now the first bar number is currently visible, and I don't want this, so I'll quickly hide it by pressing Ctrl Shift H. But apart from cleaning up a couple of minor things like this, we're pretty much done. The append feature is, well, quite uncomplicated. Now there's one other thing that has to be mentioned. For append to work, both documents have to contain the same number of staves. If they don't, Sibelius won't allow you to append. However, even if both documents have the same number of staves, you will want to make sure that your instrumentation and instrument order is the same in both documents. Because if it's not, Sibelius will append the wrong instruments onto one another, and you'll end up with a jumbled mess. I'll show you what I mean. Let's say I have two documents that I want to append. They both currently have the exact same instrumentation and instrument order. But if I were to change the order of instruments in one of these documents, for example, if I were to for some strange reason move the flute down below the brass, and then append the two documents, So I first get a warning saying that things don't match up, and if I just ignore the warning, you'll see that where the documents have been appended, there are incorrect instrument changes on all of the wind staves because of the instrument malalignment. And this would be particularly problematic when doing the individual instrument parts. So when it comes to bigger ensembles, you do have to be a little bit careful that everything is set up correctly when appending, especially if your score uses ossia staves. Ossia staves are usually where the most appending problems take place, so if you're having any appending problems, I would double check that you have the same ossia staves in all documents. So that's it for this lesson. I'll see you in the next one.